away. Oh, no, 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 no. Move myself back and move this to workspace number 8. There we go. So, yeah, uh, hello everybody, how are you all doing? So, in today's video, we're going to discuss uh, some improvements in terms of audio recording. You know, in terms of improving the audio in your recordings with FM, FFM pack. Uh, however, you guys might realize I made that video and I realized there were some mistakes and I needed to re record this and re upload this as the improved version of it. So let me first apologize for that and let's continue on with the video. So uh, I was doing a lot of like research, you know, improving stuff in the script and such. So first off, let me actually inform you that there have been some changes made with the screen recorder script from last video. I only added one parameter, so there's nothing to worry about. The one parameter I've added was um, this thing right here, this first parameter. Which, what this does, it, it lets you use FFmpeg, use all your cores to record those videos. So you can assign it like one thread or maybe two. So basically assign it how much power of your CPU it will use for recording. In a sense, I want the most out of it. I'm using, uh, whoops. I'm using the highest possible number I can in order to uh, improve one of this. So yeah. Uh, also, I may sound a little bit different because I decided to move my microphone a little bit further away from myself, and I had to in turn increase the audio and such. But it doesn't matter. It's the only thing I changed within this script. So yeah, I think that's the only thing I changed compared to the script I had uploaded before. I'll quickly check because I'm not really sure myself if it truly is that. Some of you may already know what I changed. To be honest, I changed the scripts on the file. Oh, uh, yeah, there's also one more thing. There's still, there's this, um, there's this Pulse Audio dash K thing. So what this does, it pretty much uh, kills Pulse Audio and restarts it so that it, you know, applies the settings again, therefore reducing some problems I had with, uh, with like, audio. It was desynchronizing, so I had to fix that, but that's all the changes. The dash k pretty much, uh, you know, kills it and resets, pulls audio every single time I run this command, so yeah. Well, since we're on the topic of Pulse Audio, to make this script actually work with everything, you will have to install Pulse Audio anyway, so let me just guide you through everything so you guys know what's going to happen. So first off, you're going to have to install, install actually two packages. The first one being uh, Pulse Audio and the second one being Power Control. So what you will do is you will type in sudo apt install uh, Pulse Audio and Power Control. If you would run this, it, will, it won't do anything in my case. So you have them installed already. So you can see it can read the packages. You can see it already says I have those installed, so you want to install those. And after installing it, you want to uh, then copy the existing configuration of your Pulse Audio settings into your uh, home directory's configuration folder, therefore making it like a unique setting for yourself inside of your Linux system because configuration files in home directories are specific for the user that's currently logged in so that's why we're putting it into that directory so we do not mess with any unnecessary things we will however change some system things later on just bear with me so the way you do this you type in sudo cp-r and then you would do uh, etsy pulse the entire folder and copy it into uh, into your home directory so tilde dot config into the config folder I'm not gonna do that I already did it I'm not gonna do it twice and uh, then you would wanna edit it now in the guide there will be written nano as a editor but I am using them for this, so we get to sudo them, and I'm gonna op open the configuration file again. So we're going to do tilde. You don't have to, you can just do tilde config, or since you are in the same mode, you can do just config and you will get the exact same result. So I'm going to do that sudo pulls and daemon.conf. That's the file I wanna open. 
uh, once you open the file, I'm actually gonna scroll up for you guys so you guys can see all the changes that I made to this file. So you, you'll be up here and you wanna pretty much uncomment the allo mojo loading, which is this thing, wait, ooh, okay. I have misplaced my finger. So you wanna highlight that I am highlighting it, what you have to change. Uh, it will say, I think it will say yes in the standard configuration, but it will have uh, this thing at the beginning, which is the semicolon of a space, which works like a comment, so it will not register, so you have to remove that from the uh, beginning part in order to make it apply all the settings. Uh, next thing which you want to do is set the nice level to a level that works for you. So again, uncomment it as I showed you by removing this semicolon with a space. And I use the standard setting, which is minus 11. It works great for me, but you want to change this depending on your configuration. However, the main thing you want to change is this resample method. The resample method and avoid resampling these two. So uh, first the resample method how do you check what your sample method is? It's actually really simple with the help of Pulse Audio. Uh, the way you would do it is you would run uh, Pulse. I think I have it already in here actually. Yeah, you want to run Pulse Audio dash dash dump dash resample dash methods. Once you run this, it will give you a list of all the uh, methods that you can use for resampling uh, audio with Pulse Audio. And you want to pick the highest speaks float. So uh, let me show you what I mean. So we're gonna pick the highest speaks float. So in my case, the highest speaks float is over here. It's at level 10. So you type in level 10. It, it most likely will be at level one because that's what it's said to be used as standard. So you wanna do that, set it to 10 and you're pretty much good to go. And um, I'm going to check if there's anything else I changed. Yeah, so I changed, this is not necessary but I changed the default sample ray. I, I left it as this, these two values, but I uncommented them to make it use of these sample rates. I think it makes it sound a bit better, but again, you, you do not need these. These will most likely have this in front of them. I have it set up like this, because it works like that for me. And I think that's pretty much it. Yep, that's it for this file. So I'm gonna, you know, exit this file. And the next thing you wanna do is, I think, let me, let me check, I have to have a look. Yeah, you want to actually uh, change one more file. It's actually not in your config folder this time, it's inside of the Etsy folder. Uh, it's under Etsy uh, and Pulse, and it's, uh, I think, the, the, uh, the, the def yep, it's default.pa, which pretty much contains, let me actually close this one which pretty much contains uh, all the configuration files for your Pulse Audio settings. And uh, you wanna edit this in order to, uh, we wanna add one line at the very end of this file. So I'm going to open it up and uh, scroll all the way down. I know there is a method to, Well, I don't know, I don't really remember all the keys. I know there is a key to move all the way down, but you want to move all the way down to the bottom. And you can see I don't have it in here, but pretty much what you want to do is you want to add here another uh, method. So the, yep, it added this thing, you don't need this. You want to scroll down, add some space in, and what you want to type in is load dash module oops, module, and then uh, module dash udev uh, dash detect, detect, and that's what you want to have in there written like that, and uh, I'm going to save it by doing a uh, right quit, it's saved, um, so again, let, let me show you that it is in fact in there, as you can see we're all the way at the bottom again, it's in there, it's the load dash module and then module dash udev dash detect, that's the module you want to add in, this will actually improve the sound quality by quite a decent bit, so I recommend that you add it in, I haven't enabled it because I didn't seem the need for it, but I used to use it when I was on my laptop back in the day, so yeah, uh, we can actually quit out of here, it's all saved, and to apply all these settings, there are two commands you need to run right after each other, and 
let's pause our video dash dash kill I'm not gonna run it because I'm using it currently to record and then you wanna do uh, pause audio uh, dash dash start and after you run these commands it should already apply these however I would recommend that you reboot your entire system just in case it will help solve some issues you'll have later on some services may not restart properly so I would recommend that you just reboot your entire system after you're done uh, recording your entire recording session so yeah I mean, just a small heads up and that's pretty much it there's not much else to it um, there's pretty much all of it that there is so I hope I helped you guys with this it was a long time video in the making and I decided to finally create it because there was quite a bit of demand so yeah if this video helped you guys make sure to to like subscribe uh, share this video around if you liked it if it helped you it certainly helped me to improve the audio quality and I will see you guys in hopefully another future video and I will make even more like content like this with the tutorials and I will use this as my primary method of recording uh, it's a, another like Linux tip video possibly I will make it into like a maybe a full series where I just make these style videos if you like these style videos just let me know and I'll keep on making these because it's a lot of fun I don't have to do any editing at all this time around so it makes it much easier for me to record everything and um, yeah I'm a bit more of a lazy person if you did not know but that's pretty much it I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe leave a like if you enjoyed it and comment in the video if you want to see something else being done you know but I am planning on experimenting with video editing using FFM pack it's something I'm working on right now actually I may make a video about it or not but you know it's a long like video in the making I have another video in the making where I work on a project however I do not have the components for it as of now so you will have to excuse me if the project takes about a month or two to finish so yeah I guess I'll see you guys pretty much next time make sure to stay safe, hey, have fun and um, share this video around if it helped you